Hi, my name is Himanshu and this is Mark Anders and we're both from Circuit Research Lab at Intel Corporation in Hillsboro, Oregon. And today I'll be talking about our demo from paper 10.3 titled a 1.45 GHz 52 to 162 GHz per watt variable precision floating point fuse multiply add unit with certainty tracking in 32 nanometer CMOS. Now the motivation for our work is to increase the energy efficiency for floating point computations. Now floating point computations are key power and performance limiters in various 3D graphics, signal processing and high performance uh, computing workloads. It is well known with floating point numbers that when you reduce the precision of the uh, uh, operation, the energy efficiency of the circuits goes increases. However, at the same time you'll start losing accuracy if you do that with standard floating point units. What we try to achieve with this is that we, ha we have a variable precision floating point unit that can, based on the accuracy requirement, increase the precision if needed. But when it operates at the lower precision and in achieves the energy efficiency of low precision operation, it also tracks the accuracy uh, of these operations. So whenever the accuracy becomes low enough, it increases the precision and thus tries to and thus we get the best of uh, energy efficiency while uh, having the same accuracy as uh, single precision operation to do this we've implemented a variable precision uh, floating point fuse multiply add unit uh, it can operate at either one way single precision two way 12 bit precision or four way six bit precision modes and in all the modes in parallel we can compute the uh, compute and track the certainty of the floating point numbers the design was fabricated in a 32 nanometer CMOS uh, test chip. Uh, the silicon of this test chip is shown over here and a zoomed in photograph is uh, shown over here. It's a wafer probe uh, test chip. Uh, for single precision operation, it achieves 2.9 gigaflops of performance uh, with 56 milliwatts of power at 1.05 volts, which corresponds to 52 gigaflops uh, per watt of energy efficiency. Now when we go to 6-bit mode, uh, the energy efficiency improves along with the performance. With the uh, performance increases to 11.6 gigaflops with 72 milliwatts of power, which co which corresponds to 162 gigaflops per watt of energy efficiency. This 3D graph here shows the total energy efficiency of the system, and the reason it's shown with these uh, different axes is when we start doing the computations, we always start with the lowest uh, precision. Any unsuccessful results at low precision operations are recomputed at higher precisions. And so we go from 6 bit to 12 bit to 24 bit only as needed. And in this graph, we're showing as we vary all these possible precision requirements with this recomputation overhead, what is the total energy efficiency? And for a large part of this graph, the, uh, the unit is more energy efficient than operating only in single precision uh, mode. And this energy efficiency increase can go all the way up to 3.1x uh, when all operations can be uh, performed in 6-bit uh, mode. In addition to uh, increasing energy efficiency by operating a low precision, we also have a lot of uh, ultra-low voltage circuit optimizations. What these optimizations enable is a wide dynamic operating range from 1.2 volts down to 300 millivolts. As a result, the energy efficiency also increases and uh, can go up by up to 7.3x from nominal supply operation for the 4-way 6-bit mode, resulting in a peak energy efficiency of 1.2 teraflops per watt in 6-bit mode. I'll now hand this over to Mark. We're also showing a video today. Uh, since we were unable to bring our probe station with us, we're showing a video of it running in our lab. Uh, here is uh, our FMA being tested uh, continuously while it's running at near threshold voltage of 325 millivolts. This is our peak energy efficiency voltage that it runs at. Uh, the video also shows operation at normal voltages as we uh, vary the precision uh, operate in both 6-bit, 12-bit, and 24-bit modes. The video just started over and it's showing uh, operating at nominal voltage now. That's the 1.45 gigahertz, 2.9 uh, gigaflops performance. And as we look down at the PC, this is an interactive testing mode where we show, it's going to look at the frequency first, 
you were coming. You were So you, you didn't have this inside. It wasn't on this inside. I looked at that for this specific reason. And here we're showing our interactive software that allows us to, on the top, select which mode is operating. The first test is in 6-bit mode, where we're doing four parallel operations, a floating point multiply add. Then we change to 12-bit, which reduces our parallelism to two-way. We re rerun the circuits, and we gain a few more bits of precision because we have a wider mantissa. And then finally, 24-bit mode, which is one-way parallelism. I'll move over here. This laptop is showing a software demo uh, of how the uh, combination of running in the different precision modes can be applied to an application, in this case, ray tracing. The, the uh, application on the right is drawing uh, a model right now, and it starts off by doing the ray tracing in operations in 6-bit mode. Those that do not have enough certainty are rerun in 12-bit mode, and then the ones that still do not have enough certainty are rerun in 24-bit mode. And this mix of operations results in 106% higher energy efficiency. This would be somewhere on our uh, 3D plot in terms of the percentage of operations that can, be com that can be completed in the different precision modes. Thank you for watching.